thank you for your provision thank you for grace thank you for grace thank you for your mercy we didn't deserve it but out of your love you done it for us we can be counted among the eleven not because not because we took very good care of ourselves but the giver of life decided to have mercy on us and give us life what can we say to these things thank you as you have guided us in your presence to speak to us let this ancient word impart our lives we have come with an open heart to hear that say yes the lord let this ancient word the word which you have lifted far and high above your name impart us thank you speak through me O oh god let me be a blessing to your people in jesus name amen, amen. once again we want to welcome all of us to the throne room but throne room and also welcome our facebook audience the man i am i want to wash your hand facebook live and those who watch us all the time i want to be watching like our videos and also share now what boy and not watch it videos it is our prayer that the lord would always bless you it's amazing where people watch us from places you least expected yeah, that we wonder you hear somebody watched you you get a call you get a message or flow encourage or, or send you a message you are so incredible. that we watch you every sunday yes sure consider the gladness my heart on my name watch my prayer is that the word of god would get to everyone so i also entreat all of us the man ought to say and all those who watch our videos you watch it video see to continue to share it they won't 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 share won't share so that your friends can hear god's word i'm aware of what and others would also hear god's word the man have been so what like i usually say Oh, I always say, you may not have the anointing to preach. You may not even be able to read. But since you have a mobile phone, which is uh, Android or Microsoft or something, where you can share, or you have Android, to Facebook, Microsoft, just share it. Share it. It will cost you some money uh, but, but, but it is still your act of sharing god's word amen amen okay so deuteronomy chapter 8 today we want to read the whole passage as we bring it to a close or end so we read from verses 10 to 20. when you have eaten and are satisfied praise the lord your god for the good land he has given you be careful that you do not forget the lord your god failing to observe his commands his laws and decrees that i am giving you this day otherwise when you eat and are satisfied when you build fine houses and settle down and when your heads and flocks grow large and your silver and gold increases and all you have is multiplied then your heart will become proud 
and you will forget the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt out of the land of slavery he led you through the vast and dreadful wilderness that thirsty and waterless land with its venomous snakes and scorpions he brought you water out of hard rock he gave you manna to eat in the wilderness something your ancestors had never known to humble and test you so that in the end it might go well with you verse 17 you may say to yourself my power and the strength of my hands have produced this world for me but remember the lord your god for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms his covenant which he swore to your ancestors as it is today verse 19 if you ever forget the lord your god and follow the gods and worship and bow down to them i testify against you today that you will surely be destroyed like the nations the lord destroyed before you so will be so you will be destroyed for not obeying the lord your god read 19 and 20. now obaba there so we will free razo and coupon na ikezi e yame fu fritu na sumon na a sorhon mizu da se in that day day or say na ebe say de embra manama na e raze ma was selfi when you mean the marana humbe se or send the home it ya eraze hum yan coupon in zin am praise the Lord Hallelujah like we have been talking about for the past four five weeks I think five weeks Yes. we have been talking about the other side of success yes. or how to manage your success because god desires that we become successful god chose us for eternity but because men have taken to their own way of life and have rejected the lord god is using you as a yastic or a standard to continuously reveal himself to mankind that it is he who rules in the affairs of men and who determine what should happen to man that without him you cannot make it praise the lord Hallelujah. so god desires that you become rich or successful so that man will know that success or true success is only in god just like God told Joshua, and do not let the book of the law depart from your mouth. But you shall meditate upon it day in and day. And you be careful to do and observe. Then you would have good. Success. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Therefore, God wants to use your life to let others know that when He is on your side, when He is with you, things become different. Because silver and gold are but God doesn't want us to be wealthy or successful and turn our backs towards him. Unfortunately, that is how sometimes success behaves. If we do not manage our success very well, it has the tendency to steal our hearts away from yeah, God. Oh, yeah, and, and will yeah. not end us well. Oh, yeah, and yeah, so. Because many Christians have suffered this. Why yet? Yeah, them are, uh, as many unbelievers have also suffered it. 
Today, my angels if so why so we were as bracho amasemia as christians started learning this lesson that yeah yeah christo we so for us to do the hand amasemia so that we would manage the success god is bringing Ama, and what he has them, brought our way yesina yame ozi ban na mawa bada down yebo to so that we do not fall on the other side or become am ayan koto as ninchen wana onyen the victim of our own success mm. So we say that Siakade. first Ozikan. you must manage your success very well okay. so that your success does not destroy you because success yes. if it is not managed well Say, will make us over self-sufficient it will tell you that without I mean, you can exist without the help of anybody. You don't need anybody in life. Because you think you have made it yourself. So, I mean, I, I, it's my own. I did it. So, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so we said, if we don't manage our success well, it will make us feel self-sufficient. And this becomes dangerous because our self-sufficiency from our success will make us forget the source of our success. You forget that God gave you that success. Again, if you do not manage your success well, it will make you feel self-sufficient. And self-sufficiency will destroy you because it will, it will develop pride in you. You think, I mean, you act boastfully. Praise him. And pride will be a recipe for your destruction. Because the book of Proverbs says, Pride goes before destruction. Pride goes before destruction. So what it means is that these are two people who always work together. Pride and destruction go together. But the first of them is pride. So whenever you see pride, the next thing you will see is destruction. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why I said pride goes before. You may not see it. But behind pride is destruction. So if you see someone becoming proud, you can predict the next thing that will happen, which is destruction. So when your wealth or success makes you feel proud, don't worry. The next thing that, that people will see will be your destruction. So manage your success well. So you don't become too self-sufficient and become destroyed. We also said that number two if you do not manage your success well it will make you feel Self confident. And that will also lead up to your destruction. Not so best. Sale. It will give you some kind of trust in your own ability. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is you rely on your own power and your own strength. That's why 14 to 18 says, Then your heart 
will become proud and you forget the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land. He who led you through the vast blah, blah, blah. He says that mm. you may say, my, verse 17, you may say my power and the strength of my hands have produced this wealth for me. But remember the Lord your God. For it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. So that in your wealth or in your success you do not become so self-confident and trust your ability now I was then and the strength of your hand because the work of your hand produce for you that wealth praise the lord hallelujah the work only the work of your hands cannot produce oh, to that wealth oh, because the scripture says remember so the Lord your God for it is he good for he gives you a reason it, it is because the person who can help you produce wealth yeah, is God and not yourself. So when you have it today, don't be too self-confident to think like it's my wisdom because I was smart. Because I mean I was educated or I was hardworking. They are all good. Oh yeah. They all play vital point in our developmental stages. But it is the Lord who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Amen. Hallelujah. So don't be too self-confident in your wealth. Amen. So that you rely on the power or you rely on your own ability. Praise him. Hallelujah. And remember it hey. is the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's conclude by saying that if you don't manage your success very well, it will make you feel self-confident. Rely on your own ability. Trust in yourself. And that will destroy you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because self-confidence blinds us. Self-confidence in your success. It blinds us. It covers our eyes. And so we fail to learn from history what has happened to others. People who had followed the same path because you become so self-confident in your success it makes you forget when you fail to read from history about what life you know, of others so you can escape destruction. If you're saying, it's my prayer that you and I you and I amen. will not be so self-confident in what we have achieved in what we can do in what we have and forget that others went through sin. Charted the same course we are taking. And it didn't end them well. But we fail. We fail. It's my prayer. That you will not be too self-confident. Because that will lead to your destruction. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean... History is rich of, I mean, uh, uh, good lessons. Uh, <laughs> oh, I 
I, I, I am someone, I love history, but I am not good at it. <laughs> like keeping dates. Or, pe- yes, or cover or for some them dates. In a, I don't know, always history. So when you come to uh, history, dates, numbers, I, I find it away. difficult to memorize it. Or to maintain. So like date of birth, uh, <laughs> anniversaries, like once you have figures I to it, it, I find it difficult to memorize it. Or to okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, for for example, I think it's uh, it would uh, be uh, it would be unpardonable to forget the date a former president passed on because he was a certain president. I mean, this is something that should Ghana. So he has to be also Ghana. And to make that we have that young president, I keep forgetting the date. I know that Abiyah no have it. You know, be, uh, may, I am not good at keeping dates. But it, I mean, I love history. What can open? Because history tells us, I mean, it's a rich period in everybody's time. Oh, yeah, as some are also in what you are at all. Oh, yeah, that also will be no more. And maybe I People say that if you want the richest place to go, go to the cemetery. But I think the richest place to go is back into history. Because you have you have a plethora of lessons as you see cheap pide learn from pide. But unfortunately, your self-confidence in what you think you have will not make you learn from history. I mean, f- for example, history tells us about the Egyptian Empire. Those days, that kingdom, that kingdom, the most powerful kingdom at that time. The kings of Egypt were so strong and powerful. Egypt, they were, they were, they were controlling the world at that time. Now it's Israel, the whole kingdom of Israel, Israel manina. were in slavery under the Egyptians. <laughs> What's the Egypt that's it? But that kingdom, the man is in with all its successes, where you are one, went to somewhere. Okay, baby. Now, this year, level can be said. The riches of Egypt, Egypt belongs to history. Just believe that <laughs> civilization anyway, yet is it from a, Egypt. Anyway, anyway, you can hear your brain of Egypt. Civilization. It didn't start from Europe, it started from Egypt. With Europe of Egypt. But today, Egypt. That glory in that domain belongs to history. What about Look at Israel. Israel. And that King David. David. The most powerful kingdom on earth at that time. The uh, Mabre, not Israel, no one has in reality. No kingdom could rise against Israel. David expanded the kingdom. David or try Israel's full mission. I mean, Solomon made Israel so great a nation. Solomon by Amazonia Cassie. That the fame of Israel traveled all over the world. Israel is in pity, Yazina. I mean, people were serving Israel as, as, as conquered nations and they were paying tribute to Israel. Nations were supplying the daily supply of Solomon on his table. With, with thousands of animals daily. They became so successful. But today, where is Israel? And that kingdom belongs to history. You can talk about the Babylonian Empire. I mean, I mean that great empire, that she, great she, kingdom. She, 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 that amazing. King Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar. an image because he had a dream. Oh yeah, that huge image. As in Kesipi, he saw it in a dream. Oh, we were there. Gold, silver, bronze, Sika. and all that clay. Sika. But he made 
everything of complete gold. Depicting the kind of riches and wealth of that empire. Sika Money. Sika, sika. But where is the Babylonian Empire? Babylon. Belongs to history. Do, do these lessons inum, in history inum, dam, dam, teaches us something? In semi or train, Bibia. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can talk about the Medes and the Persians. You can talk about the Greek Empire, the Medes, Assyrian Pers Empire. Assyria from I mean, the most wicked empire on uh, earth. The, when I want to win to me as in nation, but where are they now? Oh, yes, in Papa. They belong to history. <laughs> Talk about the Roman Empire, Ta Roman from Wonsam today, and there it's only history. What are Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can talk about other individuals. I mean, it's uncount. You can mention so many people. King Joash. Joash. On him, Joash. Very young boy, about eight years. No way and fit our trip. When he was young, his uh, uh, mad, uh, his grandmother. Nina Nabisia. Rose to kill all his siblings. Because she didn't want them to become kings. But providence fell on Joas and somebody stole him away. And hid him somewhere. And trained him. And he became king under Jehoiada. No, obey, obey on him. This man, as a small child, or me. this king who started as a young child, obey on him. grew and became a mighty leader. Oh, he, he, obey, but so successful. Oh, he, he brought about, about, about great revival to Israel. But his end, Nensa. very sad. Maybe. Very, oh, yeah, yeah. very sad. Oh, yeah, yeah. He became too full of himself. Now, Jinuzi. And started disobeying the words of the prophet. No, as sir, God sir. warned him. Because he felt that he has it all. He became so confident in his success. Oh, yeah. And that blindfolded him. Oh, oh, friend, you know. To learn from previous leaders. They are successes and they are failures. Binum one year was he Naza went to one year one or say I was saying this great US congressman named Anthony Viner. Anthony Viner at age 27, he was the youngest member ever on the New York City Council. Na Ano Na Osa was New York City Council. I mean who say here in Ghana like uh, assembly man, assembly man or member, assembly man, right? So on that, uh, when you go to the chamber of the assembly, uh, Epa, assembly no chamber. The youngest, and Uswa, Uswa. the youngest, Uswa. was him. In 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 New York, New York, New York. New York. I mean. This guy or this man, America, New York, rose to prominence. Or oh, sorry, Ozie. And in 1998, 1998, his political career began to rise. Ne, Osha stood the all for sir. He became <laughs> a star. Obey any person. And he won the House of Representatives elections in the U.S. We oh, win the House of Representatives. So election. he became a congressman. Into a congressman. Now, <laughs> I mean, young man, usa, usa, usa. successful, Where's the who is growing in politics. He was successful. He was yeah. well respected. No open. I mean, hard working. So his oh, nickname yeah, was like a workhorse. Now a friend, Pongkwa Oye Juma, workhorse, workhorse. Things look promising for him. Now, but the success mm. 
blindfolded him to learn from history. And he could not save himself. I mean, he was not the first person no, to do that. that. Why is that not real? Anthony Viner started Anthony Viner. sending nude pictures to women. <laughs> oh, 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 no, we picture. No, I was sending me So in 2001, 2001, he sent a picture to a woman on his Twitter page. Or send a picture to my woman be Twitter page. And the thing came to public. As in, but pardon. He denied it initially, but later he accepted. And that politician who was rising respected his success. He folded him. So later, he resigned. He resigned. His worst came in 2013. When he was campaigning to become a mayor, now also for a mayor, and the same thing happened again. So As he had to abandon his dream. Now you can hear about him again. Success, yes, if not managed well, would crowd you from learning from history. I mean, you have people like the great leader, like Robert Mugabe. Mugabe. You know, when you hear the late president's name today, you become angry. Some of us begin to laugh. In the latter stages of his life, he became like a comic reliever in Ghana to us. Somebody will just write some 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 joke and and then put, put on, yes say, quote by robert mugabe meanwhile okay. this man was nowhere near that quote that is how a great leader ended but he did not start like this mugabe was a good man no, he pa, pa, pa. Who led his country from for for independence from the British? Um, uh, he he fought uh, the uh, dictatorial rule of the English. Or, or two, and won independence for, for Zimbabwe. Na, na, when Zimbabwe. you go to Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe at that time, Zimbabwe, the like in now. South Africa, all the rich lands, as all as the as successful as lands. As 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 all the big farms uh, uh, were in the were under the control of the white. No, yeah, bro, and the indigents who owned the land, the blacks, were poor and poor and poor. Yeah. Mugabe, Mugabe, when he became president, led a campaign and said, I'm going to redistribute the wealth. So that the blacks who own the land would also become wealthy. Because they are they are indigenous, they are Zimbabweans, and the richest will stay here. Good plan. He started doing it. And his people loved him for that. They liked him because they had been marginalized for long. Ah, what's in a one that, sir? And things started going well for him. Oh, sir, sir, oh, oh, and people you. loved him. Now, I mean, they loved him well, well. But his success got into his head. Oh, he could not manage it well. He forgot that others no, afraid that did the same. Well, yeah, to them and really. didn't end them well. well you know, yeah. At least he should have learned from Ghana. And from Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Because his life was fresh in history for him. Yahya Jame should have learned from history. But their success 
Ahunyano. Blindfolded. Oya ahunyano. No pro when you are. From seeing what history presents, we don't have enough time. Yenyamber to mention names. Daya bobo boizim. But you, I mean now, and I have enough information. You can tell people you know who were successful but later have won't be nothing. Why? They didn't learn. They didn't learn from history. Maybe you have one in your family. Maybe you have one in your workplace. Your success who is it? if you don't manage well say i'm sure the year most of my family the year what blindfold you above where you are praise the lord Hallelujah. men have never learned from history yimpa yimpa the only thing about custom that's how we see what we always let our success get too much into our heads abibia yahunyan of praying you are but god yame Warn the Israelites that when you are successful, don't forget the Lord. Don't be proud of your success. And think that it is your power or the strength of your head that brought you that well. Remember that the Lord is God. Be obedient to the Lord your God. Recognize the contribution of the Lord your God. Do no. not depart from the Lord your yes, God. You know, Hold him in high esteem. Don't become no. higher than no. God because you no. think you are no. right. no. Recognize him. Ten. Don't be too full of yourself. No. Don't no. think I'm self-sufficient. No. I have whatever I have. No. I can no. buy no. whatever no. I can. I no. mean, no. I can no. buy people like that politician said, no. if you have one million dollars, you can control people. No. Today, today, my man can also have one million dollars able to make control. If you are rich, you can control people. Was able to make but control that should not be only that I am in our way. And she did not learn from history. She did not. She did not. She did not. She did not. Because she wasn't the first politician who was recorded. She did not learn from history. Our politicians will not all, will never learn from history. But you also I mean now, don't Mama let your success get into your head so you forget. The pastor said, if you ever forget the Lord your God, and follow other gods and worship and bow down to them. As the nature, as someone, I testify against you today. Moses, not the one that's it. That you will surely be destroyed. I say, surely. Me ever say. Meaning, be definite certainty. Empire, empire. Hey, there is no way you can escape destruction. Then I will say about you. If you become too confident, you are confident in your success and forget the Lord. No, you have free reason. You cannot escape destruction. Until you become too confident. If you ever grow so confident in yourself, and my mother heard that Moses here speaks as someone who seems to have rich knowledge about history. Oh, Moses, no way to be. He speaks like a history student. Because Moses was telling the people something based on his rich experience in history. That Says, forget the Lord your God. Because you think you have become successful. And that the power of your hands have brought this. Then you will be destroyed. I want to say. He was definite. Not devoted. Or simply. That you will. Um, because people Clough. who became successful I in was the me. past and relied on I your own to you. power I to you. Now, what, what, you know, and became so now, self-confident were destroyed. Or say. 
So their lives should become a warning to us. So you can learn from. It is good to have mentors. Because you are only seeing his now. <laughs> but have mentors also in your history. Amen. So you can learn from. Where they rose to. Baby, I was so I mean, people have won Olympic medals. We win Olympics, Olympics, medals, medals. And their medals have been stripped from them because they can I go to one in them. But people are not learning yeah. as they are still doing it. Don't worry. But you, I mean, when I'll... you are successful, so yes, yeah, yeah. don't let your success eat up your head. Mama, you're in the room. No, my interim, your hand up. And learn from history. Yes, yeah. You realize in this passage, and who you are saying, Moses, Moses, present a direct exclusive relationship between your destruction and unmanaged success. Oh my you who or say now we is our anchor D no sense. So what it means is that if What's you don't manage your success well, there is no way you can escape destruction. Or say no. Your destruction will come without intervention. Why is she from all your way? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because you have decided to ignore the law. And your destruction will be certain. What or say, or beba. I was telling some young men who came here not long ago. They, they want to use this place to hold a program pre Christmas and uh, praise or something. was the program pre pre So pre Christmas worship praise and worship uh, yes, praise. Pre Christmas praise. And so far. And and when I listened to them, I asked them what, about what one and their vision. Why you daddy when you then? And I said, it is good. But my only advice is to learn from history. Praise him. Hallelujah. Learn. Because there are so many people who started singing like you are. But have missed that big time. When God raises you, learn from history. And don't rely on your strength. Because your destruction will come certainly without intervention. See, because Moses said, Moses, I testify against you. I testify against you. That word testify means to raise um, a protest. Why there? Let me explain this way. Like, like I say that I don't want him to interpret again. Okay, in fact, also on Pade Makanfantin Bio. Because he is taller than me. So I won't allow him to interpret again. That is offense. Okay. So I say, go Ma and sit down. <laughs> and then said say, say that, oh pastor. Now, say to say, oh suffer. This I disagree. Because he's doing good. What is said doing? He's he's protesting protesting against the decision I have taken. So that he wants me to reverse my decision. And let him continue his work. Please, do you understand my argument? Mm. Do you understand it? 
So it's like somebody saying something in defense of another. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So Moses said, Moses said, I will raise a protest against you. In other words, if God does not destroy you or if God decides, I will even spare you because you are becoming too full of yourself. I, Moses, would raise a protest against you that the Lord should destroy you. That is what it means. Moses himself, Moses, about two occasions up to this point, the Lord said, Let me destroy the whole Israel and take you and your children to the promised land. And Moses cried to God and said, Lord, change your mind. The same person who interceded and fought for Israel said that this time okay, it will rather be the reverse no it will rather be the reverse because even if god says i will not oh. destroy them so, yeah, Mr. Mr. i will Mr. raise a protest that is what it means by saying i testify against if you become too full of yourself yeah. your destruction we are saying will come to you oh, Papa. without intervention. Why are you following? They will beg for you, but it will not work. Uh, Let us learn yes, yeah. from history. Yes, yeah. Let us learn from history. Moses says, because Moses I say testify that. against you because. Because there are other nations the Lord overthrew. Now That is where Moses now begins to bring them back to history. That there are other nations the Lord overthrew because they failed in success to recognize God. You have, have seen, seen it. We be tell you, I mean, and not walk their path. Or they so will eat you for that one. this. So we are free. And yeah. just in your success. And you. in your wealth. Same will happen. Same. Same. The same. Will happen to you. So Moses saying. Moses. You have seen a lot from history. Israel. Israel. Attack the king of Sihon. What 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 Yes, and the king of Og. Two oh, great oh, powerful nations. What am I maybe no? People. I mean, I mean, great nations that were a sorrow at that time in their uh, in their province. That that, that what well, was not But God, yeah, by His power, on a mutumdo, made Israel slaughter these two kings and, and took possession him. of their land. Now what power now, sir? This battle. Or this victory queen is what brought fear in, in Israel into Balak. And he sent for Balaam to come and curse Israel. Because they were afraid of how Israel could defeat these two great kings. But God gave them up. Because in their wealth, Simon, Simon. and Og oh. failed well, to, to recognize them. So God gave them up. Yeah, you have this in history. Yeah, yeah, we, you, to to guide guide us. Child of God. Yeah, Today, in the, you have many people yeah, you, you can learn from. Yeah, but you, you, know. you can learn from, I mean, great leaders. About New Zealand. great Christians, Christopher. great pastors, Christopher. who rose to prominence. But today, but today, but today, 
where are they? 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 Child of God. If you are a president in church, or a leader of a department, don't think that this success is because you know how to do it. Remember God because it is He. If you are doing business and you are excelling, business now don't think man that you are skillful. Remember God. Okay, okay, okay. Because great people have done the same, same business. It, 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 why are they making me happy? Now so they did not get anywhere. When we are one year. Learn from them. And manage your success well. See up you on her. Manage your success. Crado, crado. Learn from to, them. To me, for, for, I mean, year to year, there are there there were pastors who were what? doing well. Now what? what but because year? they felt they were so successful, they were managing big churches. Now what? Now so no. Why I can fail to learn from history? I say when to me, and today, and uh, they are struggling to pick up or bread. When to me, you know what? Now the I don't know where you have gotten to. But don't let your wealth, your success, Mama, one your one achievement one. get into your head. Maybe in school, you are first all the time. But don't let that success Mama, no. get into your head. Learn from history. Someone told me a story about so for so an interview Bill Gates granted. I don't know if it is true. I have not read about it. Uncanny. Also, who saw Oya Nukoro, Bill Gates. They asked him, at that time, he was the richest person on earth. At that time, I know always capable we ask him. And they asked him, so what are your plans? What do you want to do? then. <laughs> According to the story, the person said his answer was that I want to make more money. <laughs> so the person who was doing the interview said, Ah, but you are the richest in the world. And he said, Okay, because there are others who are also struggling to become like me so before they get to me i want to be ahead of them learn from history praise the lord Hallelujah. learn learn don't let your wealth which you didn't get by yourself Eat so much into your head and forget about God. Because your destruction is just by the corner. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In, in Daniel chapter 4, Daniel, I think, four, I think 17, he says that the decision is announced by messengers. Was it a samanashe as mafo one anum the holy ones declare the verdict? Concluding was it was it was it a tembunaba? The holy one declares Concluing. the verdict. So what what can I tembu? The living may know that the most high so soon is sovereign. Over all kingdoms on earth and gives them to anyone he wishes. Ozuma, yeah, or sets over them the lowliest of people. Now, Ozzy, this was at the time. 
Belshazzar. Belshazzar took the articles from the temple. Be Belshazzar yame. and was drinking from it. Ne Nzama no waso aya. Because his father, no Nebuchadnezzar, has led a conquest. Belshazzar, and and that that Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar is now a superpower. So, so, he, so he, is, he is now the president of the world. In the, in the, the leader of the world. When, when and he would do whatever pleased him. So he had no respect for God. And took the articles from the temple. No, far. Those as when holy I, things. As the crown crown. That not even the priest would drink from. <laughs> as of he. Oh no and his friends were drinking from it. But the God who rules in the affairs of men wrote on the wall and said, you too, also, your days are numbered. <laughs> your father Nebuchadnezzar, where Nebuchadnezzar was humbled by God. God. He ate Grass like an animal. Or in food or yaboa. You should have learned from history. When Nebuchadnezzar came to came back to life, Nebuchadnezzar sent by a God. Yami. He alone is God. His son should have learned. Nebuchadnezzar never friend Belshaza from history. <coughs> but he did not. We trusted. In his power, his wealth now, yeah. ate into his head, now, yeah. and he started misbehaving. No, yeah, more that night, Damn no fun. he was not killed by malaria. Yeah, malaria no kun. It be, it he, he didn't die because he had an accident. We was and on your queen, yeah. He didn't die because he had heart attack. Yeah, no he didn't die because of anything. Bible says that night the Lord took away his life. Manage your success well. I know God will bless you. I know Amen. you will go into success. But manage it well. Manage it well. Don't let your success. Mama Uyezi make you so self-sufficient for you to think you don't need anybody one day Dapper. one day Dapper. one day mm. one day you know i mean so many things have happened to people i listen to this cpp presidential candidate ivor green street I, Papa. yes he sits in a wheelchair. He was not born disabled. See, he was, he was like you. He was walking, running, playing not football, to. doing high jump and all that. High jump, you know. But today, in the so know that life Hunde. will not be the same forever if you don't recognize God. Because it is He who gives you the ability. No more to me. Don't let your success make you feel so self-confident that you Mama. rely on your ability. Mama, wah, wah, you know, man, so that it will cover your eyes, Mama blind we, you oh, from learning oh, man, to me. from in history. In in we have rich history to guide us. Yeah, well, uh, uh, Abakosam, Papa, learn from it. When you have the opportunity, count yourself nobody. And give glory to God. Because it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Learn. Keep on learning. Learn from history. You may not have it even now. But what you even have is better than someone's situation. Don't wait. Do you think you have everything? Even what you have today. Recognize God. And learn how to learn or study from history.
The Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord bless you. I hope you have been blessed. Shall we pray? Yam bumpa. Bow down your heads and pray. Yeah, yes, the answer is the name bumpa. The Lord, Yami, is a God who gives another chance. Oh, Yami and Oma are coming away for her. Maybe you suffered that. Ebia, and now things have changed for you. Eya dem nzie nibi nzama asama. You should have been somewhere. But because of your own attitude, you have fallen Upon. to the ground. I want you to tell God that I have learned your word now. And I am ready to fall into your arms. I am ready, Lord, to do the right thing again. Have mercy upon me. Tell God. Catch me, Razi. Tell God. Catch me, Razi. The Lord have mercy upon me. You gave me the opportunity. Mama, come But I blew it. Said. But now I have been taught. This is our trip. Now I have learnt. Mercy. Forgive me. Watch him. And give me another chance. Mama, come be for for. Now tell God. Tell God. Catch me, Razi. Maybe you became a manager somewhere. You became a leader somewhere. But your success, your promotion, went so much into your head that you spoke to people anyhow. Now you are down on your feet one more again. And you don't even have people to approach you to encourage you. But God is a God of another chance. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Maybe you were doing well in business. You were doing well in business. But today, it is different. Because of how you even talk to your own client and customers. Because you think you are rich. You are successful. But ask God for mercy. Tell God. Tell God. Tell God. Tell God. When you got married, your wife loved you. Now your husband loved you. Now kundo. So you felt you were you were on top of everything. Now while doing your day, and you were speaking to other single women, ladies, anyhow. I wanna walk in and one kasa basa basa. Because you are married. I know how. But now, and that same marriage, the man corona is about crumbling. But ask say, God say, I mean, for mercy. No more. Ask God. Ask God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, show us mercy. Be merciful to us. Sir, Teach so yeah. us to manage our success. Teach us in our promotion, in our success. Teach us to manage it. Teach us to manage our success well. Teach us. Teach us. Teach us, Lord. If you are here and you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Christ, that would Probably you are also watching us on Facebook. You've also not accepted the Lord as your Savior. If you can believe with your heart and confess Jesus as Lord, you will be saved. Because Roman 10 says, For with the heart we believe. And by mouth confession is easy. 
Pray this prayer after me, Father. I have come before you today. I admit my fault that I am a sinner. I am destined for destruction because I am a sinner. But you took my place. You died for me. So I can be saved if, if I accept your work on the cross of Calvary. Forgive me my sins and cleanse me from my unrighteous act. Deliver me from my sins and make me your own. I accept you, Lord Jesus, as my savior today. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you one more time. In Jesus' name. Amen.